Hello, I'm Penley the Penguin. I'm here to talk to you about mathematics and also about the amazing adaptations that emperor penguins have in their bodies so we can go deeply into the ocean. The pressure inside the ocean when we dive 53 meters or more in the ocean is 40 times the pressure that would be on land, which could crush us if we had hollow bones like most birds, but we have solid bones. Also, in order to be able to hold our breath up to 18 minutes, we have an adaptation which allows us to slow our heartbeat down to 15 to 20 beats per minute. And there's a variety of other adaptations that we have as well. But we're going to talk about mathematics. We're going to learn how to partition shapes into equal portions, and we'll call those portions, or the area of those portions, unit fractions. So let's look at this rectangle. Opposite sides are equal. What would each of these partitions or portions be called? Well, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight portions. So each portion, there are eight equal portions, so each portion would be one-eighth of the area. That would be the unit fraction. Let's look at the circle. It's divided into three portions. What would the unit fraction be? Or one of the portions equal. The area of one of the portions is one-third the area of the total circle. And if we had a square and we split it this way, what would each of these triangle, triangular areas be called? You are correct. Each one would be called one-fourth of the area of the square. So when you divide any shape that is regular, meaning that opposite sides are equal or like a circle, you can divide it easily and find the unit fraction of each of the portions. I'm Penley the Penguin. I know a lot about math and emperor penguins.